Hi, welcome back to LSMJ Radio. We have a great warm-up for you tonight. Finally, the Irish government has invested in something worthwhile, time travel, instead of those dumb unicorns, which are ugly and fat. And now we're going to interview Pelly, the person who travelled through time from 1916. Did you meet James Conley? No. Was Ireland a good place in 1916 for if, to live if you were poor? In 1916, back then, no, it wasn't a good place to live in. What was the most eaten thing by the poor in 1916? The most eaten thing was coarse bread. Mm-hmm. What was the most common form of death in 1916? Well, it's hard to say, but probably looking at yourself in the mirror. Name three of the 1916 leaders. James Conley, Podrick Pierce, and Thomas Clark. What does the green mean in the Irish flag? The Republic side. What does the white mean? Peace. Um, did you meet any children of 1916? Besides myself, no, because I was lonely back there. How? I don't know, I was just lonely. No There's... one wanted to play with me because they thought I was weird. Mm. Did the Irish Rebellion change the course of history? Um, no. Um, what, did, I think it did. Well, why you ask me the question if you know what the answer is? <laughs> it was, um, it's not, you're supposed to answer. In, is 19, oh, was 1916 a good place to live if you were rich? Well, not really many people were rich back there, but if you were, probably yes. Well, yeah. Um, what was... Oh, we're finished. I finished the question. There's no more questions. In this. Unicorns for sale. They're in stock now. You'll get a free lock because they have a mohawk. You can use them instead of postman. They'll keep your mail safe. They are not stale. They're fresh as fresh can be. Quick, buy your own unicorn now. You get a free teddy, poster, and a sticker of a unicorn. Ah! That's someone who doesn't buy a unicorn. Earlier this week, we asked the general public some questions about 1916 celebrations. Uh, The 1916 Rising took place uh, on Easter Monday in 1916. Well, I know when they didn't have iPhones, iPads, computers. Absolutely nothing. I think the 1916 celebrations will help us engage with our past and then hopefully... Um, realise the future we could have. We're Irish, we love a good party. Um, I think 1916 is a very interesting part of the Irish history and I'm looking forward to celebrating it. Um, A hundred years ago, a handful of Irish men and women rebelled against the English Empire, which resulted in the birth of the new Irish Republic. Celebrations are now underway to commemorate that battle in Dublin and to honour those who were killed or executed. I hope, as a nation, we take the time to appreciate those struggles and that we strive to improve the health and well-being for every citizen, regardless of religious beliefs, origin of country or colour. Welcome back to LSMJ Radio, and now we're going to do some movie reviews. The series that I am doing is called Pretty Little Liars. It is about five girls who are being blackmailed by a person called A. They don't know who she or he is, And A is trying to kill those five girls as well. Your own mother was afraid of you. Get his back! Allie's made mistakes. Okay, Shauna, but what makes you better? You're sick, Shauna. Like Mona was, but we can get you help. I'm not Mona. This isn't a game. So what is it? Game of Thrones is about a lot of people who all want to rule the throne. My favorite character is Tyron Lannister, who is a dwarf who is prejudiced by his father. He is very intelligent and funny. Here is one of his speeches. Worthless lives. I should have let Stannis kill you all. Tyrion! Do you wish to confess? Yes. My favourite movie is Home Alone. I like it because it's funny and it's good, and I've been watching it since I was five. 
It's about a guy who's home alone and his parents left him and he, they went on holidays. Here's a clip from the movie. Thank you. I'm going to give you to the count of ten to get your ugly, yellow, no good keister off my property before I pump your guts full of lead. One, two, ten. Well, thanks to everyone that helped make this radio program and a big thanks to Tony and Mita, the, the producer Pixie, the desk op Shane and me.